Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Seek NR. And today we're gonna do uh, an unboxing. I got a bunch of gifts while I was on bed rest uh, during my surgery that happened recently, uh, which was more of a procedure, I guess. It was an outpatient procedure, so it wasn't that big of a deal, but it still, it happened on my birthday and it was it was just, you know, kind of made up for a rough week. And uh, this is the, my first video I'm filming post that procedure. So uh, thank you guys for the kind words and support, uh, you know, the, and, and the haters out there too. Uh, there was a couple people that just wanted me to die apparently last week. Uh, so that's fine, I, I guess whatever. Um, but I'm still here, so sorry to disappoint you. Um, but I did get some really cool stuff. I got gifts from friends, um, Amazon gift cards, which some of some of them I used for things like groceries and stuff like that. Um, but there was some gifts I was able to get, uh, you know, for myself along the way because lately I've been like knee deep in reading uh, more physical, you know, comics again. Uh, I went digital for a long time, especially during the pandemic. I was reading a lot of digital stuff, and uh, and so recently I, you know, my Amazon Prime membership was about to expire. And I was like, you know what, let's do one last hoorah. So when people gave me Amazon cards, I'm like, all right, I'll get, you know, groceries with some of this. But with, for the rest, I'm going to put it towards books. And then other people started catching on that I was getting books. And they're like, oh, I'll get you a book for your birthday. Or my mom was like, I'll get you this omnibus that you wanted. So all those kind of came in. So I have a box here and we're going to open them up and check them out. Uh, so the first one we're going to start off with, and some of these I already took the plastic off. Because, you know, I, I got these, some of these I got a couple weeks ago. Uh, like, they were they came in early because we celebrated my birthday a little early since, obviously, I was going to be on bed rest. So, um, so this was like, all right, cool. You know, I took some of the plastic off of these. So this first one, though, still has the plastic on it because this just came in actually today. Um, and this is a Just Asleep book. Uh, and I'll cut to a, a closer shot of it so you can see it because it will be glare and stuff from the light. Um, but this is Just Asleep Throne of Atlantis. And these, they used to make, they were sold at Best Buy. And what they did was they would put a hardcover, they would reprint a comic book, you know, like a graphic novel, six issues or so, and they put the Blu-ray and DVD in there uh, along with it. So I actually have one here as an example, a different Just League book. This is the first one they printed for Just League War. So it has the Just League origin story by Jeff Johns and Jim Lee all, you know, in here. So it's like a full comic book. But then also in the back, it has these Blu-ray and DVD. Uh, so that way you can watch the movie of Just League War that's based off of this comic. Same with this here. In the back, we'll get the Blu-ray and DVD of Throne of Atlantis, which was the second Just League animated movie they made after this one that ties in and they share like a the New 52 continuity kind of. So um, this was like on sale for 10 bucks. So right before my Amazon Prime membership expired, I was like, all right, I'm going to get this. So I'm excited to check that out. So all these books that we go over today, you're going to see like in upcoming videos. Uh, you'll see me make, you know, um, really cool, you know, overviews of them and stuff. And so hopefully you guys are liking the ones I've posted so far. And I'll continue to do that with this series as well. And only every once in a while will you actually see my face on camera like this. Um, so, okay. So the next book we have here is, uh, is actually a series of books. Um, this is the Dark Knight. Now, I already did open this one because I want this came in before my surgery, so I already peeked at it. A lot of these came in a, a couple days before my surgery, so I did peek at them. So this one's pretty cool because it's the Dark Knight Returns by uh, Frank Miller, obviously, um, the classic uh, book, but it's four hardcovers, um, which is really cool. So you'll see, I'll try to do a cutaway shot of a, uh, you know, like a, a nicer looking angle of it so you guys can see what it looks like. Um, but yeah, I love this, and this was on sale for like really cheap it was like 25 bucks which is a great deal because uh you know amazon they had this great sale going on uh recently uh, leading up to my surgery actually it was a leading up to mother's day where it was like you could buy uh, a dc comic trade paperback or hardcover and you'd get another one for like half off and so i had a couple friends that took advantage of that and got me some cool things uh which is awesome so big thanks to all of you guys and big thanks to everyone who you know got me a birthday gift that was really nice i mean i'm turning 39 this year so i don't really celebrate birthdays that much um, and I don't really celebrate my anniversary anymore with my aneurysm stuff. Uh, so I kind of just, I'm just like, hey, another year, you know, whatever uh, kind of thing. Uh, but this year, everyone made it really awesome. And then I had coworkers at work who got me this, uh, which is a, a, you know, birthday card, a Batman birthday card, which was awesome. And it actually plays noise. You know, so I'll actually play that real quick for you. Celebrating. And now, Robin, to the Batmobile. Happy birthday. 
And I just thought that was the coolest thing. Like that totally made my day and everyone at work signed it for me, which was really, really cool. Uh, so, so yeah, thank you to everyone at work. Thank you to my friend, Jonathan, my friends, Ashley, Alex, like, uh, you know, Gene, everyone who, uh, who, you know, sent me something, um, or just called and wished me happy birthday, whatever it was, like, it was awesome. And all the, you know, the nice comments and all that stuff, it was fantastic. I had a great birthday. So I appreciate all of you. And so, um, so yeah, so there was a lot of things on Amazon that were just at really good rates. And even my mom was like, hey, I want to pitch in too. I want to, you know, help you uh, get more Batman stuff because I know you're on kind of a Batman kick right now. So like, hey, thanks. Um, but I do have some more. So it looks like there's some more stuff in this box here. So we'll go ahead and uh, take this out. Uh, this is Batman Universe by, uh, by Brian Michael Bendis. Now you guys know I'm really harsh on that guy. This book is awesome. I've already read it. <laughs> like this literally came in. Uh, I think the Monday before my surgery and I wasn't allowed to eat for the rest of the day after I had breakfast. So, uh, cause I had to wait, you know, 24 hours before I could uh, eat again or I, before my surgery to, you know, so I couldn't eat. So I was like, I need something to kill time. So I think I was playing video games that day, like offline. Um, I was doing this. I think we did the venom reaction that day too. So, uh, so yeah, there was a lot of stuff that day, but I sat and read this and it was freaking awesome. So if you get a chance, check it out. These were printed, um, in the uh, the in the Walmart comics that I used to buy, and I'll like I'll have some images up there hopefully for you guys. Um, Walmart used to do these five dollar comics during the pandemic that had hundred a hundred pages in them. They were released by DC. They're really hard to find because a lot of like speculators and people were going out there buying them uh, because those comics had stories in them that were exclusive to Walmart. Well, this was one of those stories, and what they did, what DC did to kind of you know um, ease retailers who thought they were missing money out on these Walmart books. They collected all those stories that were, you know, printed in those magazines and reprinted them in here. So this is the whole 12 issue story by Brian Michael Bendis um, in one book. And honestly, this is the best thing this guy's written in like probably 10 or 15 years, uh, in my opinion. It's it's really awesome. And that's saying a lot because you guys know how har harsh I am on that guy's stuff. Um, these are really great. Someone told me they found these for like five bucks at Ollie's. Um, so this is really cool. These are Robin volumes one and two of Damian Wayne. I don't, I didn't have these. Yeah, these are great. Uh, so again, they were only like, I, I guess like three bucks each or so, or four bucks each. So now I have the whole Damian series in hardcover, which is so cool. Um, and I got more stuff, holy cow. Um, let's see, yeah, down here we got, uh, oh, these are from my friend Alex. Um, Alex Wilson sent me these. Uh, these are Batman Detective Comics by Pete Tomasi. This is hardcover number two, Arkham Knight, and uh, hardcover number three, which is called uh, Greetings from Gotham. Now, I'm a huge fan of Pete Tomasi, as you guys know, um, and I've re uh, this, I have this mythology. Uh, this is my, the first volume. I've had this, a different friend of mine gave me this, and I really enjoyed this. So, um, so I think I mentioned that to Alex, and he was like, all right, cool, and he got me volumes two and three. Now, I looked online. I think volume four, they only made in softcover, which is so dumb. Why would they do that? And then volumes five and six are hardcover again. So I'm like, I don't know. So hopefully DC does a, a hardcover of the fourth volume because otherwise I, I might not own it. I mean, I sometimes buy trade like paperbacks, but I like to buy the hardcovers if I can. So um, so yeah, there's uh, images of, on screen of, of those if you like those and stuff. All right, next in the box we have here uh, Batman Ninja Turtles Volume 3 uh, with this cool matte cover uh, by uh, Freddie Williams II. Um, I love Freddie's art. He's super awesome, and I love watching him on Red Letter Media. Um, he's a really great guy. I love uh, seeing his videos on there, particularly the one where him and Rich Evans are unboxing um, Avengers toys for Endgame, but there's like, but they're like um, toys that are sold in other countries that are like knockoff toys. So there's like a Superman in the pack with the Avengers and like a Batman and Wonder Woman. It's a pretty awesome video. You guys should check it out. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so Red Letter Media, I love those guys. And, uh, and when I see Freddy on there, I was, I'm like, yeah, awesome. I'm glad he's there. But I have the first two volumes of these, and this is one of those books my, my mom actually got me. She was like, hey, you know, my mom, she's been supporting me reading comics. She was the one who got me my first comics. And Ninja Turtles were a very early favorite of mine. And I got to actually work with Kevin Eastman on a book once uh, that I created, and he did the cover for. And then he did a second cover where I did some of the pencils, and he did the, uh, more pencils and inks and, and fleshed it out. It was just a dream come true. He's the nicest guy in the world. So I love to support Ninja Turtle stuff at, at every opportunity that I get. So this was cool that she did this. And I got a Batman fix and a Ninja Turtle fix to go along with my first two volumes, which I have here. Um, and now I have the whole trilogy in hardcover. So that's really cool. I like buying stuff in hardcover. They just are look nicer on the shelf. <laughs> um, but if I have to get a soft cover, I will. It's not the end of the world. Um, all right. So there's still more stuff in this box. So what do we got here? We got... Justice League of America, a celebration of 60 years. 
And I can't wait to make a video on this one. This one looks like a lot of fun. And it's got, uh, you know, the whole Just League on the team here. We got Aquaman, Wonder Woman, Superman, Batman, Green Lantern, Flash, and John Jones, the Martian Manhunter. Um, when I saw this online, I immediately went to YouTube and looked for some reviews of it. And when I saw what was in the book, I was like, okay, the, the, I, I'm, I'm happy. This is awesome. It's got a, a lot of classic stories in here, especially one of these here. I love this issue where Batman actually fights a Manhunter from the Green Lantern era. Uh, and I'll try to have some, you know, like nice glamour shots of the book and stuff. Um, but it, it, it celebrates, it has a lot of great stuff in here. So you have like the first appearance of the Just League from Brave and the Bold, number 28. Um, you get early issues of the Just League comic book from the 60s, uh, and then some from the 70s and 80s. And then from there on, you get uh, stuff like uh, Just, uh, JLA number no. 1 by Grant Morrison from 1997. And then uh, you get also Just League of America by Brad Meltzer from 2006, number 1. Justice League number one by Jeff Johns and Jim Lee, which we talked about earlier, and Justice League number one by Scott Snyder um, and Jim Chung, I believe, for the totality, which is the most recent one. So this is just a nice window into the the universe of the Justice League, and uh, I, it's it's I'm so excited to read it and make a video on it. I think you guys are gonna like it. Um, speaking of Scott Snyder and the totality, holy cow, uh, we got both. Wow, both of them here. Justice League, Scott Snyder, volume one and two. That's freaking awesome. Um, I own this run digitally, uh, most of it. Not, I don't think all of it, but but most of it. Um, but I love this format. Uh, the thing about this book is, I'm I'm really critical of Scott Snyder. You know, for those of you who watch my Venom vlog, you know I'm very critical of Donnie Cates' stuff. But I still feel like that guy has potential and 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 is a good writer and can be. I just feel like sometimes you know, his brain gets in his way. Sometimes uh, I feel like the same way with Scott Snyder. Uh, Scott Snyder to me. Everyone raved about his Batman run from New 52. I did not like his Batman run that much. Um, I liked it when Jim Gordon became a Batman for a little while. That was kind of neat. But I didn't really like his run too, too much uh, outside of Court of Owls. So, um, and even that, I didn't like the ending too much. Um, but I like, and I like his Black Mirror story, but again, the ending. So to me, he's not a guy who always sticks the landing. Um, but uh, but D uh, DC Metal was pretty good. And so it got me to read No Justice, and then that led me into this series. So I'm excited to do a video on this for you guys. This will be a lot of fun. Um, I don't think they collect No Justice in these, which is a shame. I wish they would have put that in Volume 1, because you kind of need to read that to see what, understand what's going on a little bit. But I'm still happy that, you know, that they have these cool hardcover editions, and hopefully they do a Volume 3 to kind of wrap out the run and stuff. But anyway, so yeah, there's a couple more glamour shots for you, so hopefully you guys you know, enjoy that, uh, you know, and, and see, and, you know, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Um, all right. So next up we have Superman year one, another Frank Miller book. Uh, this is by John Romita Jr. and Frank Miller. And this is supposed to tell the origin of Superman, but in the, uh, in the, like the Dark Knight universe. So if you remember in Dark Knight Returns, Superman is kind of working for the president at that time. And he's being sent in to kind of tell Batman to knock off his vigilante shenanigans <laughs> um his shenanigans and uh, and so superman is like shows up to kind of tell him to stop so this is the origin of that superman because obviously that has been spun off into its own continuity over the years with all-star batman um and that which was a terrible book <laughs> that never ended um then there was also uh, dark knight strikes again obviously and then the dark knight 3 book the master race which i actually really liked so um so I had this on my wish list and I'm glad someone got it because this is this is pretty dope um, and I like the format big that big black label uh, magazine style format um, so yeah so then we got that and we also have wow look at this omnibus super sons now this I bought myself um, I had a slight um, uh, well I had an extra bonus from two checks ago and I've been eyeing this for a while it was marked down to fifty bucks. And I was like, I have to have this. I love this run, and I know Tavia is out there, and he's a big fan of this run. So Tavia, I promise you I'll make a really cool Super Sons video for you very soon. I'll probably do that next up after this video. This will probably be the first thing. So I'll probably start reading this and getting the, the, the overview layout and then start writing my script. And I'll try to get the, uh, the that episode out to you in the next, like, two weeks or so, if not, you know, quicker. But there's, like, some glamour shots of that if you want to check out... Um, you know that and let me know down in the comments below what you think of super sons if you're a fan of that i personally i'm a big fan of super sons so i'm i'm cannot wait to read that book and that that looks like the uh, extended edition so this actually has like um not just the main series that came out the first series but also the second volume um and then a bunch of their tie-in like uh, like team-ups with like dynamut 
and uh, and then the the Teen Titans when they did the the Super Sons of Tomorrow. This has like everything in it because um, there was a, a version of this before, but you know it's by Pete Tomasi who I love and Jorge Jimenez who I'm, I'm a huge fan of his art. Love him on this. Love him on the Snyder Justice League uh, comic. Uh, and then now he's doing Batman, and he's the whole reason I'm buying that book. Um, but yeah, this has a little bit of everything in it, and I'm I'm so pumped to read it. And then I have the new series. I have the new issue of that. So again, we'll make a video on that. Um, for sure. All right, so more stuff. Okay, so this is Court of the Owls Volume 2, The City of Owls in paperback. Um, and I think the reason why this is in paperback and not a hardcover is actually because of... Let me turn this upside down and get that out. All right, nothing else in there? Okay, great. Um, we got The Court of the Owls, Volume 1. It comes with the mask and the trade paperback of Volume 1. So that is freaking cool. And then I got volume two to go with it. So now I have the whole Court of Owls series. Again, I'm not a big fan of how this series ended, but I am a big fan of um, how it begins. And I like the idea and concept of the Court of Owls. So having this mask is really great. And they're really breaking out because I think they used them on the Gotham TV show. They used them in some of the animated movies before. And I believe they're going to be, they might even play a part in the new The Batman movie coming out by Matt Reeves. There's been rumors about it. I don't know if it's true or not. Um, and then there's also uh, the new video game coming out, Gotham Knights. Uh, the Court of Owls are going to play a big part of that. So uh, yeah, this will be fun. Maybe I'll wear the mask while I do my playthrough of that game as well. So I can't wait. So I'll definitely make a video on these at some point too. And again, there's some uh, glamour shots of them if you want to check those out. All right. And my legs have fallen asleep. I literally was sitting on my feet <laughs> like that whole time. Um, wow. Okay. So anyway, uh, there looks like there's still a couple more things in this box. But these ones, I know what they are because I bought these for myself, or at least two of them. And my mom got me the third one. So you guys have already seen my reviews. I think of at least two of these hopefully have gone up by now. But this is um, Batman by Grant Morrison. We have the first volume here, Omnibus 1, um, and then we have Omnibus uh, 2 uh, right here. All right. And then uh, Omnibus 3, which is the um, Batman Incorporated. And I think I can get rid of this box. It is officially empty, finally. Uh, that, was a, that was crazy. There was a lot of stuff in that box. Um, and yeah, now we have volume 3 here. So there you go. Uh, let me get them all on camera. These are, I'm so excited. I've been rereading them and I've been loving them. And uh, it's so great to um, revisit kind of this universe, this, this uh, Grant's take on Batman. It's not for everyone. I tell that all the time to people. Um, I see people openly slam this book and say they hate it. And I guess that's fine. That's your opinion. But uh, I feel like there's real, there's a lot of neat stuff and neat concepts that are played around with in this that are different. I feel like this was one of those Batman stories that I couldn't really predict where Grant was going to go. And I liked that. I mean, that's uh, that's really hard to do with a character like Batman because he's pretty formulaic, especially in the hands of most writers. So when things can actually be changed up and they're, they're kind of done in an interesting way or they harken back to old continuity, like Grant really loves the 50s. So there's a lot of things in these books that kind of harken back and make reference to the 50s and put more modern day spins on them. And I appreciate that effort. I mean, that's more effort than most writers put in their books. So I appreciate it for that reason. So these have been like kind of the reason I started this whole show, the Seek and R show. Uh, I wanted to do something that kind of tied into Batman, you know, and uh, and have, uh, you know, references to this run in particular with Zura and R. Um, but then also just keep going down the DC rabbit hole with these videos. So all of these books that we talked about here today that I you know, have and got for my birthday, this will be my content for probably the rest of the year because I will not ever have, you know, probably money to buy things like this, uh, you know, from, from here on out. Um, with the uh, medical bills now after that's, after my procedure and surgery, like I'm going to be, money's going to be going elsewhere. So I won't be, have an opportunity to get a lot of uh, stuff like this again, most likely. And I don't have Prime anymore either, so I won't have that. Um, so, but I will take my time and probably every like two weeks or so you'll get a video on something that you saw on this in this video. So I'll try to get as much of this done and spread them out throughout the year, and hopefully you guys enjoy that. And maybe one day, like closer to Christmas, if I get another type haul, I'll save up a couple things, and we'll do another video like this, and, uh, and we'll talk about the next batch of stuff we're going to make videos on. So let me know what you think. I'm going to start with Super Suns, but if there's anything else in here we talked about that you'd like me to do sooner than later, let me know what that is in the comments down below, and as always, we'll continue the conversation down there. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you all in the future. Peace.